Hi guys, welcome to We Live. Today I'm making our December inspired soups. This is going with our December inspired gift sets. It's a beautiful red, this one. I'm waiting till they thicken up a little. Last year we did our December inspired soup in glycerin soup. But this time I'm planning to put them in these Pringle cans. I've cleaned them out and planning to pour it into those. Alright, I think this is thick enough now because I want to do an in the pot swirl and I want the red to be thick enough to hold the white. Okay, I think both are thick enough. However, I would like to wait a little bit more with the white. The container is blue because I used it for something blue earlier today. Okay. A lovely fragrance this is. So effervescent, so holiday. All right, so I think I'll show you how I do this as well. I do one drop in the middle and then I kind of go in clockwise. And again in the middle. 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 and 9. All right. Let's crack this junk. I'm not going to mess. Uh, try to swirl it with the spoon because I want a bit defined swirls and I hope I can get that. Let's pour it in. I'm just pouring it in the center. I'm not doing any further swirling. Okay. That's failed to the top and it's easy with these cans I just put the lid back on and just leave it like that to soap on your fire I did not line this thing because I'm not planning to reuse these cans I know this is a bit smaller compared to the other one I don't have much soap and this is not as wide as the other one as well. So the bars made in this can would be cut a bit wider. I have a feeling this can will have the best swirl. All right. Let's scrape this. Oh, I'm spinning a little. That's because I'm trying to clean the jug through the camera lens. All right. 
right that's all scraped and now to pop the lid on this one show you how it looks inside it's not filled to the top okay i'm gonna put the lid back on and put this to sleep all right i'll bring you back for the cutting which will be tomorrow for me but for you a couple of seconds If you look inside, you can see the soaps have pulled off the edges so that way you know that it's ready to be unmolded. And I don't know if you noticed when I was pouring it yesterday, it was dark red, and then it has turned orange should be the color I'm using a new color from a local supplier it's an it's a lovely red but I don't know let's see uh, and with molds like this you can easily cut them off hopefully easily all right if you're planning to reuse this then it would be helpful to line the pan but i don't want to reuse this i have a lot of finger pans in handy all right I'm going to just leave it like this. Let's cut this off. It's not the easiest of things, but all right. There's a small crack over here, but that can be easily fixed. So I'm going to let that air out for a bit. Now this one I'm sure is going to cause me some trouble. Because I have not left enough space on the top to cut, have I? Alright. Oops. Let's grab another pair of scissors. All right, let's try this. I think it's only two. So if you are going to recreate this soap, don't pour it to the edge, just leave about one inch gap. It's going to make your unmoldings that much easier. Alright, it's not yet ready. make it look so easy to peel them off no. the small one was a breeze maybe because I had no cut
Okay. All right. Let's put this on. to cut easily now at this but the soap is ready to be unmolded as you can see it's leaving some room between the container I'm going to cut from the same place so that I don't destroy it really. so because anyway the top I'm planning to cut it off so it's not a big issue Now I've got soap on my gloves. It's going to be even more difficult. You just pull it down and twist. this now so what I do is this is the loaf I'm gonna cut a piece off from the top it doesn't have to be perfect but just a slither off Okay, whoa, I was holding my breath the whole time. It's a beautiful one. Oops, I broke it. Doesn't matter. We don't need this. Use it for something else. Now, this is the loaf. Oh uh, yeah. dear. I think I. All right, how silly of me. I marked where I have to cut on this one and I cut that off. So I'm going to place the markings on this. For that, I need a ruler and something to mark it with. And I'm going to use this butchered, uh, what do you call this? Knitting needle. I use this a lot. Alright, let me mark things up. Alright, I know exactly where to cut, uh, where to mark, so we already pre measured this. Alright. Oh, 
Okay, now I would love to excuse the mess. I've been cutting soaps. Uh, cut this soap with this knife, but what I have is not deep enough. Meaning, if I cut it, it would only go halfway through, and it won't go the full length down. So I'm gonna ruin the soap. As you can see, there's some more soap to be cut at the bottom. So I'm gonna improvise. So let's take this that side and get my soap cutter. It's all messy because I've been cutting. I already cut the other loaf. So let's start cutting. All right, I'm gonna bring this line further down so that I can see. All right. So what I basically do is keep my ruler here and then bring it down so that I know exactly where to cut. Place it back on the cutter, make sure you can see, and cut. Okay, that's the first cut. I love the swirl going on in the middle. Let's get them lined correct. Okay. And this is how the soap looks like cut. And, but I like what that knife does. I think that is much better than just plain. So what I did was, because I can't cut it like that, I just take this and to scrape it down now you could do this with any cookie scraper is that what you call it All right. so I think that looks much better at least for what I'm going for all right let's do that all every one of it all right this is the second one so i use this side for one and then the other side before i clean it up Perfect. And you just push them through to clean it. All right. So this soap has a lot of prepping to do. I want to frost on this as well. And this is how the soup is going to be, not like this. I want to keep it like this and frost here. All Thank you. 
I saw the wish I can cut with this. I'm sure it will be more pronounced. If you can hear a tadding noise, I'm sorry. People are running upstairs. We have a few more to go. I'm in love with this fragrance. So yum. This one doesn't have now see on this side you get a beautiful swirl and this side has none so while doing this i'm actually pressing it in really hard so that it gives the illusion that i've cut with this So these are the sort of cut from the bottom. So it's like when I poured, there was not much swell happening. Maybe just a little bit there. But still, they look great once I pipe them. And I don't know if you'll notice of the color morphing here. When I was pouring it, it was a really bright red. And now it's not that prominent. It's gone more orangey than red. Oops, I moved the soap. Okay. Now, these are the bars I cut from the big Pringles pan, if you all saw me. And this is the ones I got from the small ones, so they are more fat but at the end they're all going to weigh minimum of 150 usually they're almost 200 so i still have more to pipe on top so okay I'll, oh i have to do more i have to make the embeds now for this so i'm thinking whether to keep you on this side or do i have to what i'm going to do is chop them up not chop actually squeeze them and roll them out I'm gonna really you know I have to warm this up and really squeeze them I have to wait for that it's still too fresh to do that so as you can see I am getting the oils on my hand so I'm gonna let this air dry for a little maybe couple of hours and then come back to do the rest okay so i'm making these candy canes now 
and let's move them aside and all what I did was just get a block like this and I cut a slither off and give them a squeeze and I, you have to do this so it becomes really soft and smooth so I've been doing this for a long time and I have a ball ready so what you do is to make these candy canes get it all warmed again and then just roll it off and you have to be changing your gloves a couple of times while doing this because as you can see they get really messy and after some time you won't be able to do it this will start getting st stuck on your gloves so you just roll them out my little one is here with me again playing in the background so you roll them thin and these gloves are too big for me they always get caught and when you're happy with how thin they are you by guiding with your fingers just fold it in and so they don't have to be perfect they're just going on top of some frosting uh, i want them to be two inches long for my soap so you cut them and leave it all flat to dry Just bend it like that by guiding with your fingers. And you can shape them. Well, that's how you would make one. Right. Okay, I could have twisted a white also with this, but I didn't want to do that because my frosting is going to be all white. And with this, I'm going to be making some balls. So, I'm trying to change up my gloves. And this is the problem with small hands. Even when you buy the smallest of gloves, they're still too big. So you just make random sized balls. And I want this to go on top as well. Okay, I'll be back once I make all the balls. All right, we're back for piping. You can see it's perfectly ready. So we give it a little stir and let's plop them in. This is the most thing I'm using. Okay. All right, I'll have to hold it to frost it.
Okay, I want to take this further up, but I'm going to do everything and then come back. All right. Time to refill your bag. Scraping every bit here.
frosting is perfect. And by the time this video goes up, the soaps will be listed on the website. So let's try that. Should do. that it would fall off the weight. Let's try another one. I think I should go just one line. That's much better. Every time I keep and pick a soap, I'm holding my breath. So nervous.
chin. Yeah. All right. I really should have. Uh... Okay, I'll have to redo these two. Frosting was way too heavy for it to take it. This is good. Now I wonder how it will stay once I put my embers. The ones where there is soap on the sides can easily be wiped off once it hardens. I'm going to take my time, space them out, and hopefully they stay that way. I wonder if I leave it on a cupcake mold, will it stay? Okay, that's what I'm going to try. Oops! Now, okay, I'm going to pause you people and then get a cupcake pan. All right. Better now. As you can see, I just had two more to pipe. And the frosting is still good to go. over here all right and I still have a little bit of frosting to go and I'm going to put the pointers on this just one 
the center. I should have thought about this at the beginning. All right. Just a little bit more and I'm going to squeeze that into one of the books. should not be wearing the gloves at this time because it's very difficult to keep the embeds with the gloves on but let's just try okay I like it now have to really push the embed in into the frosting or as they'll fall off the candy cans put in and now I want to put the balls in how do I put it okay I have balls in three sizes so I think I'll put the big one at the bottom This soup is so time consuming and takes a long time, but I love the fragrance. Should be taking off my gloves, but I don't want to because I'm placing it from a weird angle, I can get soap on my fingers.
and I don't know if you notice it now this uh, the balls are a different shade of red than the soaps themselves so I, it's made from the same soap so I have a feeling that once you start using this soap you will have some really good red bubbles Anyone else going crazy with these online classes? Honestly, I'm losing it. I'm at the point where I almost giving up. I love this prayer. I got this prayer from Nature Soap and it's really good to spray glitter that you can target where you want it to go and when you have soaps like this it's highly convenient and if you're looking for something like this here in Sri Lanka and you can't get them uh, I don't think there's any soap supply shop but in cake shops I can remember seeing some at bake it yourself they have some I think edible lust or something comes in this so maybe if you have a cooking friend you could buy that then empty the contents clean it off and use your glitter on that Up. 
Okay, till next time. Bye.